All right, guys, Mr. West talking to you about the year of impossible goodbyes by Suk Nyul Choi. So this is the story of 10 year old Sukhan in 1945 in Korea. Now, Korea has been invaded by Japan. Japan has invaded most of Northeast Asia and Southeast Asia and is the reason that we invaded and fought Japan in World War II. Um, so this is the story of the end of the Japanese occupation as the Japanese are torturing and brutalizing pretty much everyone they have dominion over, and especially the Koreans. They're doing their best to erase Korean culture and to turn these people who live there into loyal Japanese subjects. So this is the story of Sukhan as she watches these Japanese imperialists kill her family and destroy everyone and everything she loves as they are losing their fight to the Americans in World War II. And then the end of World War II happens, and I'm not going to tell you what happens afterwards, but the story doesn't end there. So this is the story of um, Sukhan basically as she is defending and holding on to her national identity, which she doesn't really understand because she's only really ever known Japanese colonization. So how do you hold on to this idea of something you should be when you've never had a chance to, to live it yourself? But Again, this is a great book. It's a super fast read. Um, and it what once you think something's happened, something else is about to happen. So um, I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you pick it. Have a great one.